update. 13 deaths in Mogadishu suicide car bomb, Al-Shabaab takes credit. The death toll from a suicide car bomb attack on Sunday night at the Top Coffee restaurant, located in the heavily guarded Daljirka area near the presidential palace, Villa Somalia, has risen. Emergency teams and police sources confirmed that 13 people were killed and 21 others were injured. The victims were primarily teenagers watching the Euro 2024 final between England and Spain on Sunday night. Four of the deceased were women. There were a lot of people sitting outside the cafeteria where we were spending the evening. Suddenly, a Toyota Surf 4X4 car exploded, said Abdirisak Mohammed, who was nearby during the explosion. Some of the victims were employees of Top Coffee. There are no answers yet on how the explosives-laden Toyota SUV entered the heavily fortified area. I am surprised and utterly outraged how the car could get access to an area where ordinary civilians cannot access. Only government personnel with IDs are allowed, said Mohammed Aidid, who lives in the area and whose friend was killed in the attack. Early on Monday, Cleaning services began in the area, with women clearing the aftermath of collapsed walls and fragments of restaurant chairs and tables. However, human flesh and blood could still be seen on the ground. Al-Shabaab has claimed responsibility for the attack. Former Somali President Sharif Sheikh Ahmed condemned the incident, describing it as barbaric. This attack shows the hostility of terrorist groups towards our youth, who are the future of the country, and businessmen who have invested in the country, said President Sharif. The owner of Top Coffee declined to speak to the media, citing security reasons, highlighting the frustration and fear within the business community due to threats from al-Shabaab. The Somali government has not yet officially commented on the attack. This incident is the second major attack in Mogadishu within 24 hours. On Saturday, a group of al-Shabaab prisoners in the central prison in Mogadishu carried out an attack that resulted in the deaths of at least eight people, including three soldiers and five prisoners, and injured around 20 others.